Yet another chapter in the madness I get up to. This is a fertiliser spreader I got about 10 years ago. And it's your standard half ton Viking on a frame by Logic. And it used to be driven by a Honda engine. Now unless you're spreading on a football field, this thing is way too heavy for a quad to pull on steep ground. Or even for a, a gator to pull for that matter with the Honda engine on it. So I waited until I got a PTO shaft with a with a wide angle end on it. I've got a spline shaft to put on there because Vikings don't have a spline shaft, they just have an ordinary shaft with a hole in it. So I've got that sorted. Got mud guards made for it, even mud flaps. Put a tailboard on it for lights, because I have to travel a good wee bit on the road. Uh, sport brackets for the mud guards. And uh, here is a bit of ingenuity. That is a 12 volt ram that pushes the fertilizer spreader closed. The spring pulls it open to whatever you the adjustment you set it to. So that can all be operated from the tractor. And you see Copex coming here, goes in the back window. And we'll go in here, and we'll see the little control box. That's a little control box. Lead on the left shows that the 12 volts coming from the tractor okay. Lead on the right shows that the fuse in the box is okay. Two-way switch sends positive and negative one way to push open the ram. But the switch the other way sends positive and negative the other direction to close the ram. And that's it. One converted Logic Viking Wagtail spreader from engine operation to standard PTO operation on the tractor. Uh, my land is very wet, so if I can offload some weight to run on two big wheels, get the weight off the tractor, I'm actually uh, doing a good thing. End of story. Good luck. I'm away to use it. It's never been used before, so we'll see how it gets on today. Bye now.